Hello, our devotion today comes from the book of 2 Corinthians. Today we are looking at chapter 4, verses 1 through 9. Here's the word of the Lord. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. Rather, we have renounced secret and shameful ways. We do not use deception, nor do we distort the word of God. On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers, so that they cannot see the light of the gospels that displays the glory of Christ, who is in the image of God. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that his all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today by Carol Rittenhouse is Life Under Pressure. Here's what Carol writes for us today. We are all created and equally loved by God. We are all living metaphors, clay pots that are imperfect, cracked, and broken. However, not all of us respond to life's pressure in the same way. Some rely on their own powers of problem solving. Others rely on faulty emotional cues reacting logically to their circumstances. Believers in Jesus Christ should act, react differently because our logic is not of this world. It is logic based on the very word of God and the person of Jesus Christ. This causes us to respond to trials and difficulties very differently. The one without Christ seeks revenge, holds grudges, and focuses on selfless resolutions. A Christ follower pursues redemption, forgiveness, and looks outward to scripture, wise counsel, and the character of God to decide how to approach life. The world does not understand. This Christian approach to life is a treasure Paul is talking about. With God's power and wisdoms, Christians can deal with circumstances in life that might crush those who do not know God. This does not mean believers just cruise through difficulties. We just realize that God can accomplish what we in our own wisdom cannot. Oh, for a faith that will not shrink by William H. Bathurst. Oh, for a faith that will not shrink, though pressed by every foe, that will not tremble on the brink of any earthly woe. And from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1, Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. And this is your daily devotion from the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene. Have a blessed day.